Hi, good evening. I'm back, Rachel Gibson, the Digital Psychic Live. I'm just going to wait for the audience to return. Unfortunately, I had a issue. It's called Rachel Gibson forgot to put her charger on. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, honesty is the best policy. That's what happened there. I've still got Demi's Nan with me. She told me to put that on. It was on the floor. God knows why it's in my room. But she said, why don't you put that on? I said, no, it suits your dress. You put it on. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Katie. Hi again. Sorry, everybody. I'm really sorry about that. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Kelly. Laugh out loud. Absolutely hilarious. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jade Bennett. Hi, I was in the garden today hanging and washing out and a white feather fell in front of me. I had a white feather today as well. That is definitely um, imagery. Um, that's definitely heaven sent. They're normally angels. Hi, Rosin. Oh, wait a minute. So what's that, sweetheart? Rosin answered, you've lost my wee man school photos. Will they show up feeling heartbroken? I sense they're in a, like a shoe box somewhere, a brown one. I'm giving an image of a box. Try and look for them in a box, sweetie. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that imagery information. Box. Last time I found Shannon's, was it Shannon's mum's wedding ring. I told her where the wedding ring was. Uh, another lady, I got her glasses for her. I can do that sometimes. I do hope that's where they are. Hi. Hi, Jade Bennett. Hi Jade, sweetie. I'm sensing a little baby around you. I'm always getting that. And I sense also a lady in spirit world with you. She always watches over you. I sense with this lady... Like, like she likes her own space. I'm sensing a room on her own. Was she in a residential home? Because I'm seeing like a small room with this lady in it. I'm also sensing a chair. And a photo by her bed. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a photo next to her. So please do let me know. Um, this lady is sending love to you, sweetie. Go through these. Hi, how are you? Did you get a message? I sent about George Henry, an Indian lady. Oh, no, I didn't. What's that about? Oh, I'm intrigued. Can you please let me know more about that, please? I haven't got that message coming through. That sounds quite interesting. Love Indians. I've got Indian in me, Native American, from my granddad, big brother. I've got Michael Croft with me, Earth Angel Michael. And I also have a gypsy with me, like a belly dancer. She's quite fun. And that is Lady Gypsy Lady Rose. That's my guides. Demi, yes, yeah, she did mention she had a dog. I don't think the dog is with her. I've got um, Leah with me. Hi, Rach, was anywhere there for me on Audrey Bannerman? Hi, Audrey, I've got a lovely gentleman coming through, but I'm given Scotland for some reason. I'm feeling very Scottish all of a sudden when I said your name. Not sure why, if there's a male around you who knew someone Scottish or anything like that. Please do let me know. Crystal says she has a Native American boy with you. They are lovely. They're really good guides. I love the Native Americans. Because um, they give you lots of wisdom and stuff like that. I've got uh, Kim G said, Rachel, when you get time, can you do a video about your awakening and your spiritual path? Have you got a YouTube channel i'm getting a youtube channel with all of the videos on it because i've got lots of videos i think i've done about 50 odd and um within a space of three weeks no anniversary time did, 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 did. yes yeah, anniversary today sorry guys got a bit excited then must be this lady with me um four weeks ago today live wow so much has happened to me already in four weeks somebody wants to feature me in a book 
and um, lots of one-to-one -one readings. I've counted it up. It must be about, I've done about, I reckon, in the region of about 400, I think, spirits. So I reckon, I reckon I've found, including my live, I reckon I've found about a thousand energies. I've had lots of validations. Every single message, every single one has been validated. Accurate. There's a couple of little miss, miss, maybe miss things that I haven't, in a couple, I'd say. But out of all the hundreds I've done, no bad feedback. I'm chuffed with that. I'm really chuffed with that. And one thing I'm also chuffed with is that I don't do these text me now, please. Call me on a premium rate, I'll charge you loads of money and I'll get a tenner for giving you no information and I'll send you a repeated email that I've sent everybody else. Because I'm not going to do that. I know everyone's got their own methodology, but some of it out there is scam. I'm sorry, but it is. It's wrong. Mediums and psychics should not be doing that. It's not fair. People need proper, proper, proper one-to-one -one information. It needs to be closed down. You can't just have an email sent to you. It's like, where's the press? Where's the personalities? Where's the like funniness? Where's the laughter? Where's the tears? Where's? It's about closure. I'm just saying. I'm not going to mention names or anything like that because that's not fair. I'm just saying. I don't think it's fair on the public and especially some of the big mediums out there that are doing that, they should be providing quality service. That's my opinion. It's just my personal opinion. don't know about what you think. It's not fair. Please do share. You do have the opportunity of getting a free one-to-one -one reading with me tomorrow. And I really love doing them, so that would be really good. You can also book one-to-one -one readings with me, but the more you share the more you got an opportunity of having a one-to-one -one reading with me. Audrey said, Bannerman said yes. Thumbs up for that. Scottish coming through. He said he loves you very much, sweetie. Lovely man. I'm sensing a bit chesty with him though. Getting slightly chesty. I think they'll all be joining um, Demi's, Demi's Nan and Shep and everybody else here. Is that right? Pardon? She said yes. <laughs> My husband's looking at me as much as say, well, who are they actually talking to? Because he's, he's blimmin' sceptic. So he's here to prove me wrong that there wasn't growls. There was. It wasn't growls, it was groans. Like, woo, woo, like that. That's all. But I'm, I'm not bothered by things like that. Oh wow, from Glasgow. Yeah, saw it, saw Scotland, saw everything like that. He came through very well and he's sending his love, so that's absolutely wonderful. Love it when that happens. Elsa said, I've always been told that I have a man following me. I'd love to know who he is. It's scary not knowing. Alicia, sorry, sweetheart. Alicia Heather. Okay, Alicia, I can tell you about this man. That's how he looks like. You know Clark Gable? I think that's what he's called from Gone Gone with the Wind. He looks like him. He's got his hair all brushed back like this. I'm not going to say he's handsome. Husband's in the room. <laughs> Joking. Um, he looks like him. Do you know of anyone who looks like this male? Talking wartime, 40s, that era. He would have been, I'd say... 40 ish, not sure. Clark Gable look like following you around. So, um, there you go. That's what I sense around you, sweetie. Victoria Blackburn, hi, sweetheart. Hi to all my followers. Hi, all newbies. Hi, everybody. Please do share. You do have the opportunity of getting a one to one reading with me, Victoria. Victoria, with you, sweetheart. I was sent in overseas, um, lots of travel with you, somebody who likes to travel around too. So it might be a connection overseas I'm getting. I'm sensing a man coming through, giving me the name John. He said, 
John. I get a lot of Johns that come through. It's quite a common name. John, Bills. I'm trying to think, Peters. Well, lots of common names come through, but I am getting given John. Um, that's why I don't like doing names. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I think names. I'd rather give imagery information, stuff that happens, emotions, feelings, how they passed, um, connections to a place. With names, gosh, they're so common, aren't they? It can almost, they're like fit anybody sort of thing. But with this gentleman, what I'll say to you is that he's quite biggish. He's got whitish hair. He's got um, nice composure about him. I'm sensing... Um, sea around him too. I'm smelling seaweed. I'm getting imagery information of a boat, a yellow boat at that. Um, quite biggish hands as well. So that's what I'm getting with you, sweetheart. I'm very tuned in tonight, by the way, because I've got Madam here. She's making sure I'm doing all right and told me my lipstick still looks a mess. Ask me, this is Demi's nan, by the way, who gave me correct names, didn't you? George Christopher, because she took me through a photo album. She's asked me to put this on because it was on the floor. God knows why. I don't even know where it's blimmin' come from. I think it was like my well, son wanted it like to play around in sort of thing. Phantom of the Opera like style. And she said, I've got a red dress on. Wear it. I said, no, you wear it. I'm not wearing it. So she ain't getting her own way. Blimmin' nuts she is. Sorry about that. Only joking though. Like she is totally and utterly on one. Gary Solo, sweetheart, you've asked anything about your future. What I will tell you now is that I do try and explain this to people, is that um, we have a past, and I can tell you your past has been like this. Um, your present situation is indecisive. You're not sure which path, to dis which path to go down. What I will say about the future is it's almost like looking through a lens, like a little corridor like and it goes bigger and smaller that's how i see the future and i see the lens with it and but but it's a narrow road this way or a wide road that way and it's up to us to make the decision unfortunately i can see into um, other people's futures so to speak but only with guidance so what i'm saying to you is fundamentally it's choice and decisions when a psychic said that's going to happen to you the chances are you're going to believe it that could actually make you make a decision that's not actually yours we all have free will it is your free will to make a decision not mine i will be taking your free will from you and that is not fair what i'm saying to you is don't worry about the future stay on the path you're on it's a tough road the tough roads are normally have the best outcomes not always the wide road. The easy decisions sometimes aren't the easiest paths. But what I'm saying to you, it's against universal law to take away someone else's free will. So if I say to you, right, that's gonna happen to you next week, right? You're gonna you're gonna carry that with you. The chances are you're going to think, well, she said that that's what's gonna happen. I've taken away your choice, your free will to make a decision. That is not right. I am here to guide. I am a guide. I am a teacher. That is all I am. Um, that's what I've been told. Universal law t teaches me that I mustn't take away someone else's free will. That I have free will and I'm in a powerful situation dealing with vulnerable people because I'm dealing with people that are bereaving. I have to be extremely, extremely disciplined when I'm dealing with people, so I have to give proper guidance, I have to give disclaimers. Not because necessarily I don't think, not that I don't trust myself with the disclaimers, it's because that's to do with trading standards and stuff like that. Um, that's why we have to say it's for entertainment purposes only. But universal law totally outweighs trading standards in my book. I, you know, trading standards, total 100% respect for that and them and everything they stand for because they have to stop scammers and stuff like that. But universal law tells me that I have a law to abide to. That's I'm not allowed to lie. I'm not allowed to mislead. I'm not allowed to abuse my position of power. And it is a powerful situation to be in when you think and 
and believe that I can speak with spirits. If I just wanted to get that across because that's really, really important. It's about trust and building trust. And I'm that good with my readings that I give a disclaimer that people within 10 minutes, if I have not touched anything within that 10 minutes, then I will end the reading and I would issue a refund because I am that accurate. I believe myself that I'm able to give accuracy and abide by the universal law. Yeah, oh, thank you everyone for saying congratulations for the fourth week. I know it's good, isn't it? I can't believe, like, you know, I've had like thousands and thousands. I've been looking at my stats and insights and stuff. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people. So that's really, really good. And thank you everybody for always being here. Thanks for those that supported me and everything else. So we've got Jack Anthony Jude here and he says, Hey there, I've just returned from a year in the rainforest in Peru. Wowee. Oh my God, Peru. I'm just picturing it now. That's the wonderful thing about my job. I can travel in my mind. So I'm there in Peru. I can astral travel. I'm really good. My mind can actually travel. So I see the past and stuff like that. So like this lady here, I can actually see her past. She's giving me imagery information of her past, which is lovely. I've seen all sorts of things. And what you're saying is um, indigenous people. I've been being guided by the sh shamans. Wow. I love that. I just love culture. I love anything like that. I love all religions and stuff like that too. I think it's really important to respect um, all different cultures. Um, we would be very deprived in the UK and, and America, I like to say, in all the Western worlds, if we didn't have different religions, different belief systems, cultures and stuff like that. What I do think the issues with the world is, is that we're not actually universal yet. We all have to be one. Just thought I'd put that out there because I respect all religion. I think there's one God, one creator or one universal being that oversees us all. Oh, we've got um, Loretta Berry here. Will I remain in my granddaughter's school life? And the only thing in there, sweetie, is, that, is it because of something that's happened? Is somebody not allowing you around a situation around your grandchild um with that i'm not allowed to talk about anything legal um i'm not allowed to talk about medical legal health relationships god really but but what i am gonna say with that sweetheart is that you must believe you're deserving and you must believe that the path will be okay if that's how you feel um Sometimes things are out of our control, normally caused by human beings, I might add. There's normally blockages in the way. I think you need to pray for that to Archangel Michael because I haven't got the right to be taking away free will of another matter for somebody else too. Um, so apologies for that, but I hope you understand my predicament legally. Audrey, can you tell me who the gentleman is that's with you? He actually hasn't given me his name as of yet. He's bit, he's quite stubborn. Well, he's stubborn because I'm getting he's quite a stubborn person actually. He's coming across quite stubborn and funny, and he thinks it's funny. I sense he's got connections to Scotland, and I sense that he loved like is it underground? He likes lots of history, heritage, and extremely proud of where he's from. I'm getting that. I get, when I get proud, it's, it's like an image like this. So he's getting, he seems to be extremely proud of where he's from, which um, I would imagine he would be very proud if he is Scottish, because uh, I get a very strong connection, Scottish coming through to me. showing me a pub and it's blue you can see a pub and it's painted blue he might have drunk in this pub jimmy jimmy he's saying jimmy jimmy to me jimmy it's jimmy <laughs> are we talking scottish in the minute what the heck oh 
my days, honestly, they do make me laugh. Oh, Pamela said, I'm so glad Leo the lovely Beagle was there with you. Please tell him how much he's loved and missed. We're so proud of his gallant fight. Oh, bless you, Pamela. Of course he's here. But um, I'm going to send him over back to you, um, to the realm. So he will be around you, sweetie. Page Lily, howdy, howdy to you. Is that howdy from US? We got all. Please do share share with you, uh, where you are and stuff like that. Would be amazing. I did a lady in Australia because I do Australia, Perth, and um, all different places: USA, India. Oh, gosh, I've been around the world now, and. Um, And this lady come to see me, and um, we talk, she's a client of mine, and uh, she showed me a car. No, I showed her a car, let's get this right. I told her about a car, and then she showed me a photograph, I goes, there's that car, that one there. And a man had passed over, and the car belonged to him, and um, he didn't want her to sell it. And she's now keeping it. Isn't that lovely? But that was done with free will. That's what I was talking about, because it's a present situation. Present, I can give information. Future is taken away free will. So I talk about the steps you can make. Like, if I'm doing a future reading with you, I'd say, okay, you've got this choice or that choice with this present situation. Because, you know, there's that old saying in it, tomorrow might not ever come. And it's a true saying. Oh, Julie Skinner McCollum said, you had a reading with another Julie, but what you had come through was Scottish George and my great grandfather was Henry. Wow, wow, wow. Let's pin this comment. Sorry about this. And then you, oh, I can't see the rest. And then you, so, can you PM me please? Because that sounds like that's validation. That would be absolutely fabulous if you could do that, please. Oh, I love it. I love it. Like, you know, I don't know these things. Like, and because I'm a digital psychic, people go, oh, that's because you're going through Facebook and looking through posts. Really? I haven't got time to do that. And I'm sure, like, the information I give isn't at all anywhere on Facebook. So what I do say, prove the sceptics wrong, everybody makes sure that your Facebook is always secure. Only have it to friends only. The reason for this, sweeties, is not just because of psychics. Not that they do that sort of thing. I'm saying, what about predators, strangers, stuff like that, people who get lots of information about you? Always keep your settings safe on Facebook regardless. Right, so here we go. We've got Audrey. I know Mrs... But the pub wouldn't be blue, it's a dark grey. The Helen Jesse. Helium Jesse. Jesse. Did they paint it? <laughs> He's stubborn. He's really, really stubborn. Did they paint the pub a different colour? Please do let me know. It could be that it was blue at some stage. They do that. They can give you past history stuff as well. I've walked into a room and I know that, like, I've gone into buildings where I've done psychic stuff and I can say how it's all different and stuff like that. Oh, Judy's saying, am I Scottish? What's that? Am my Scottish George went to a bar called The Watermill? Wow. Oh, this is so interesting. I'm loving all this stuff. It's so cool and neat. Love you all, it's amazing. There is someone standing behind you. Yeah, that, if there's someone behind me, that's, um, you will see my angels then. That would be my, oh, what's that? That would be my guides. Right, 
It used to be white, but I'm not sure if it was ever blue. We need to find this out. It's very interesting why he gave me blue, though. But he did mention about a pub in Scotland. I ain't talking Scottish again. Unless it's him standing behind me. Could be. Yeah, your Nana's still here, sweetheart. She's enjoying her time here with all of these lot. Lots of men around her, I can tell you that now. And she said that Mama's cheeky for asking for money. And she called her a name. Like B-U-G-E-E-R. Don't like swearing, but... Gotta say it as it is. This is the thing. I've gotta say it as they say it. So sometimes I have to spell it if it's a swear word. I've had loads of arguments with them. Well, not me personally, but they have arguments with each other. That would be my dad laugh out loud. It's so funny, isn't it? I'm loving this. But he was asking earlier if I would do a YouTube video talking about my spiritual journey. I'm going to do that. That is such a really, really good idea. Demi, you're asking me what her name is. She won't give me her name. I'll tell you why that is as well. Sometimes they don't like to give their own name. And I'll tell you, they'll say George and they'll say Christopher and they'll say who they know. They don't like to give their own name because they are who they are. And they think, well, why should I prove to you? It's like me saying, oh, hello, everybody. My name is Rachel. Right? It's like information that you already would know. If they're your loved ones, you would know who they are. And sorry if, oh, Samantha Lynn, sweetie, I don't mean to ignore you. I can't see all the comments coming up, Angel. Like, um, that's what I do. I can't see everybody's comments. I wish I could, and so I haven't seen what you've said yet, sweetie. But I'm getting more jury given to me, if that means anything. <laughs> sometimes I get, but sometimes I get given names. Sometimes it's really specific, like with um, Rosalind, um, that was Paddy, said Paddy, everything. A lot of the times they do, but some don't. It depends how close you were to them. A lot of them just like, well, don't they know? What do they want to know? And I've had one lady, she said, what do they want to know the colour of my knickers? I've had that. <laughs> it is so funny. They are comical. They are as they are in the plane on Earth. Right, ah, right. So here's some Samantha. I've got you. <clears throat> Sorry. I was just waiting for Samantha to come up. Oh, no. Why is that? Why have I lost it again? Samantha, Samantha, where are you? There you are. I'm going to pin it. No, it is pinned, but I can't see it. Oh, why can't I see it? Oh, smart for sweetheart. I'm so sorry about that. I lost the pin there when I pinned it. Can you PM me? I promise I will speak to you personally, if that's okay. I don't like doing that because that's not right. It's like eth ethically not right. I don't do that. Hi, Emma Martin. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, Nikki Kabadi. Hi, sweetheart. You got Marjorie. A medium gave me that name over the weekend. I don't know, Marjorie, sweetie. I'll be really honest with you. I'm not getting Marjorie around you. I get, um, Connor, and I get Jordan and that, and all your lovely, lovely loved ones that you've lost, but I'm not getting Marjorie. Sweetie, I don't know why she gave you that. It could be a distant relative, but I just, I, I'm not getting that information. So <clears throat> it's not to say that she's not right. What I never do is dismiss other uh, uh, psychics. Um, I don't think that's right to ever dismiss what they say. They, they would have seen something. It could have been relation, a relation to something else. Um, but I'm not getting it myself. That's all I'll say. Oh, Kelly Matthew said, can in-laws that have passed over that you never met be with you? 
Yeah. Yeah, anybody. Tina Marie said, wow, the person is just standing there. Oh, isn't it lovely? Well, I have got Michael Croft here and I have got um, Big Brother here and I have got Gypsy Lady Rose here. They will be protecting me. He will just be standing right there. In the corner over here, just here, <clears throat> I sense I've had this Scottish man. He's come through. And also um, over here, I have Demi's grandmother who made an entrance. I also sense there's lots of other spirits around. I'm sensing that there was um, a suicide spin around me today. A gentleman who sat near a lake, uh, knelt down with his head down. Um, but I've passed him on. I don't sense him around me now. I am not really sensing anything like that around me at the moment. <clears throat> but they come in and go. Rebecca Gallup. Gally Goss. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, beautiful lady. I've been seeing signs ever since my reading. We went fishing just to celebrate him. We were hoping to hear from him, Dave. Oh, sweetie, that's so lovely. Oh, that's really nice that you've been getting messages. Yes, he's sending love. Um, I think the messages that you've been seeing is of heaven sent. So, yes, he will be around you and he'll be loving the fact that you're remembering. Yeah, Tiana, it is a male that is behind me. That's Michael Croft behind me. He will be behind me. Can you please describe him to me? And I'll let you know if that's the same male I know of. Victoria Maiden said, Hi Rachel, you mentioned a lady around me the other day. Can you tell me if she's happy in her life? And if she has met up with my granddad, please. Yes, Victoria, sweetheart, she is with your granddad straight away I'm getting the name Pamela given to me too with you sweetheart that's the name I was given might be an associated name I'm not sure sometimes they do give names like they are like somebody they knew why are you waving a stick around was she in education or something like that or a teacher Good. stick like this interesting she said she's sending her love I don't know what the stick is though did she use did she use a stick on somebody once when she was they're getting yes I did or something like quite quite different oh I was just gonna wonder if what was that I'm going to see yes yeah, so that'd be really interesting to get back to my senior teacher she's very very authoritative lady I've got with me at the moment please don't turn me off <laughs> So yeah, I was just going to ask you, can we boost the share and invite button? The digital psychic will give someone a free reading and the most shared and invited tonight from the digital psychic team. Oh, thank you team. So, um, oh, oh, got that one coming up, pin comment. I'm getting better at this pin comment thing. Getting a, I'm getting a headache now. Someone around me giving me a headache right here I'm getting a headache a lot of pressure there thanks for sharing my best friend's mother passed on me she was like a second mother to me I was not there when it happened and was unable to say go oh bless you Victoria a lot of the time sweetheart what I think is that our loved ones actually do protect us because they don't really want us to get they don't want to say goodbye it's not goodbye to them it's like they're always around us it's not a goodbye um, and that's why sometimes we're protected, you know, as well. So I sense this lady will be around you, sweetheart, and not to worry, they're always around us. I'm getting a really bad headache coming through. I don't know who this is and why I've got such a bad headache. How about this? I'm just going to have to rub my um, third eye. I'm going to know who it is. He's coming through in a sec. What was that noise? Okay. That was my husband. It's okay. 
Oh, who's this mail coming through to me? Sorry, guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just tuning in a minute because I need to find out who he is. Fine. I know who it is. I'm gonna find who this belongs to. Right. Jamie Muck M and me. Hiya. Hiya, sweetie. With you, I've got a gentleman's coming through and he's giving me a headache and I don't know why. I believe it belongs to you. Um so please do let me know. Why? But I believe it belongs with you. It's when I saw your love hearts coming up. It's almost like someone's trying to send you love, and it like I'm getting a headache with him. Sensing that he was sorry about something too. I'm getting like a remorse feeling. You might see that like my feelings and emotions have changed. Um, sad feeling like this. So I don't know if it's suicide or something like this around you. Is it or somebody? That's what I'm sensing, sweetie. So, um, yeah, please do let me know. Oh, there you go. Victoria Maiden said she had a walking stick and she hit my ex with it. She also had a friend called Pam. Yay, I'm loving that. That is so neat. She went like this. It was like, you know, like, like a musketeer. And then the woman who's over here, which is Dem's nan, was like, oh gosh, I got them all here tonight. And then I've got mate here over in the corner, he's laughing. And my guides was probably like, what is going on, Rachel? What are you doing? But yeah. She's like this with him. She's a bit of a character as well. She loves showing it, though. Like, she's really proud. Like, Zorro. <laughs> They do make me chuckle. They really do. Ooh, chuckle? I don't talk like that, do I? Ooh, chuckle. <laughs> Must be her. Sorry about this. I get on a high when they're all coming through to me like this. <sighs> Where's Jamie? I want to know why I've got that headache because it's starting to go. It's lifting a bit. So if it's not for Jamie, it's for someone here. Oh, there's two angels behind that person. Yeah, that would be Mike Croft, sweetie. He's always there with me. I'll show you my angel, shall I? She's been with me for a long, long time. She's lovely, isn't she? I love her to bits. I won't drop her because I'll, I'll cry. Oh. Got angels. What else have I got up here? I've just got little bits, really. Got me wand. Got my wizard. Got Pam. I've got another guy. I don't even know what he is. Got Jesus there. I've got a fox. I've got a wizard up there. I love it. I love all this sort of stuff. Yeah, she is beautiful, Deb's ma, isn't she? I love her. Good evening, Clennifer Brooks. How are you this evening? Hope you are very well. I've been told by a lady in spirit that's with me. Crazy lady, funny, wonderful. Said to put this on. So I'm doing it. She's laughing. It's not even funny. <laughs> I did it. You can go now. You can go back with your loved ones. Hi Mandy, Kathleen, Anthony. I hope you um I hope you're not selling the yellow car. Do you know what I'm talking about? But she's saying there is a person in between. Ooh. She won't let it go. But there is a person in between those. Hmm, 
Does he look Native American? Can you describe what he looks like and then I can tell you exactly who it is and which spirit it is. That would be wonderful. No, Demi, she's not going yet, sweetheart. Trust me. I wish. <laughs> I'm only joking because she's just so much fun. She told me I had to put the mask on. It's not funny, is it? Oh, you see a man with dark ha hair, Debs. Long, short, young, old. Please do let me know. Oh, I've got psychics here watching here, telling me what spirits are here. Please do let me know what they look like and I will let you know who they are. Because I'll know. Not necessarily. Sometimes I'll, sometimes people can see things that I can't see. That's true. Oh, middle age. Mm. Okay, keep going. What, what age do you think is middle age? I can't tell the face yet. Like to like to his shoulders show me where my nana is my nana's here over here in the just by my door i can't leave the camera there unfortunately short hair yes <clears throat> i watch classes middle age Ashley J said, did you catch my comment? No, I didn't, sweetheart. I had a white feather today. Who was with me? Christina, Christiana, May Anderson Arms. I sent, sweetie, a lady around you. Someone who passed of cancer. Hey, hope you can help me lately. I've had knocking a lot on walls and other night. I had someone touch my hair. Oh, bless you. Oh, sweetie. Who's doing all the angry faces tonight? If you don't like my page... Don't upset my audience, we're here. Lovely, lovely audience. So no angry faces because it's about the light. There's all light in here. We don't do angry, I'm afraid. Poor, 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 poor angry people. Angel blessings to you. Pamela Fortune said laugh out loud. Please help me, my son is freaking out and seeing things, Amber. Oh, bless. I wouldn't worry about it, Angel. Um, what you can do is go to like a spiritual shop. I would suggest getting some sage. So I've got some. I'm going to be putting up a shop really, really soon. got books, sage, all sorts of things. So smells a bit funny. But yeah, really, really good. Wrap that around. You soon get rid of any bad energies. So there you go, people. Can read through these. Anyone around me? You're not getting so awesome, Pamela said. Like in 30s, yes, Diana. Correct. Well spotted. So James said I had a male friend that committed suicide by hanging himself. Maybe that is the headache. Yes, Jamie. I knew it. I knew it was for you. Because you had three hearts. He came through to me. I got a massive headache. And this is the guy that's suicidal. 100% I got a headache. When I get headaches, it's normally through negativity vibrations. Someone feeling extremely low. He's saying that he didn't really say goodbye to anybody. And he wish he had. He's really sorry. He loved his friends. He loved you. He liked all his friends and families. I'm also sensing with him, his head was extremely messed up. Extremely messed up. Hence the headache. And he's here again, because I'm getting an intense headache right here. So he's taking quite a lot of my energy in order to come through like that, in order to let me know that message to you. Um, so I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm going to help him to the light. He just wanted to say that it was really important to get a message to his family that he loves them. That will enable him to get through recovery a lot quicker, I sense. He's a lovely, lovely, lovely spirit. Sadly missed. He loved lots of music. I'm getting music around him. He would have liked all sorts of things. 
life was very tough with him. I also see criminality around him too. I'm sensing a very lonely soul, blessed soul now. He's passed over. Um, it was his choice. It's nobody's fault. It was his own doing. It was his decision. It was his free will. He had made that decision. I hope people understand that. With suicide, sometimes there is no way out. But what I will ask is if anybody is feeling suicidal, there are help out there for you. Please do contact people like the Samaritans in the UK and other areas in the USA and stuff. Also, for people that are bereaving through suicide, it is the hardest and most complex thing to even understand. Right? And people go, oh, they go to hell. They took their life. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people believe these myths, I call them myths. When someone chooses to take away their life, they have taken away their, they've given up their own free will through decision, whatever decision that is. What I say to you is they go to recovery and that's it. They go to recovery and they'll get better. Also with murders, I do get headaches associated. That is someone taking somebody else's free will. What is one done to one comes back a three times over. You do bad to people, you get it back three times worse. That's all I can say. Murder, anything like that, taking away someone's free will is wrong. And um, I'm afraid those people totally and utterly going to live life back or down on the lower vibration worse than ever again. You know, like, you know when people slaughter animals and stuff like that and the impact we're having on Earth's vibration, what, what we do on this Earth, we reap either the benefits of what we've done good or we will reap the benefits that we've done bad three times. So if you do good, good in the world, think three times, earn your wings. You do bad, it comes back about three times worse. And um, also I wanted to tell you out there, for everybody, is about protection. So if you want to protect yourself like I do, so here I am, put a bubble around you and see that bubble growing. And then you're in a magical bubble and nothing can get in. I allowed him, what happens when I open up and I'm doing the live, I open my bubble. Only, not all the way, but I open it up enough for him to, people like this come through, give me a headache so that I'm able to give him a bit of my energy, a bit of my time to come through and give the messages. People don't understand, I don't think, the amount, intensity, energy it takes to have that imagery, information and audio coming through. So, hi Christy Turk, what's the meaning of the butterflies around me and who are sending them? I'm sending a lady around that sweet house and lots and lots and lots of butterflies. And um, that's normally a sign from angels. So it would be a female that um, passed over. She loves you very much, Christy. I'm sensing um, lavender smell around her. She would have liked her perfume and stuff like that. Also nails as well, getting nails. So there you go, sweetie. I'm very well, Fiona, how are you? I hope you are well. Um, always have lovely messages from your family coming through from Spain, so kisses to you, sweetie. So someone's asking what is the corner of your room by the blue bear, whoever it is, he's got blue eyes. Oh, I don't even know, I can't see anyone there. Oh, my, but I've got a um, Native American guide, but he hasn't got blue eyes, and he's about here. Oh, Michelle's saying she's got relationship problems. Sorry to hear that, sweetie. It does take two people to make a relationship work. I always say, um, all is fair in love and war. It takes two to make war. It takes two people to make a relationship and it takes two people to break a relationship so it's about working out those relationships sometimes people need counseling relate and stuff like that 
and I said his name last night, Peter. Wow, Jamie. So I gave the name last night and I gave the information imagery today. Thank you for that. Thank you for confirming that. I'm going to send it back to the light. So, um... Yeah, he's going now. Oh, Fiona said someone's followed her in your house. Oh, who's that, sweetheart? Well, you'll have to let me know. Ashley Jane said, I've had a few different friends tell me over the past couple of years that they've seen someone standing right behind me. But when they take a second look, it's gone. Whoa, cool. Sometimes it's asked just to ask them to go to the light or whatever. That's all I do. And um, they won't hurt you. Christopher Reynolds saying, why am I not happy? Oh, Christopher, I'm sensing that around you yesterday as well, didn't I? Last night, sweetie. I said we need to clear those chakras. They're blocked. If anybody's had an effort healing session with me, wonderful. Ma works magic. You need to clear it and get rejuvenated. It gets blocked. Lots of things happen. Deb Smar said, is it a Native American? Yes, it is. He's by my right side. Correct. You've seen correctly. Please do share. Do you have the opportunity of having a one-to-one -one reading with me? Also, you can book a one-to-one -one session at https dot forward slash forward slash Rachel Gibson TV psychic dot co dot UK. Oh, Lorraine says, have you been receiving my messages? No, sweetie, I haven't. I haven't seen any messages. Is that through tonight's show? I haven't had any messages yet. So anyway, I'm feeling quite tired. When suicides and that come through, I exhaust me. Um, and I need to just go and smudge myself, smudge my areas, rejuvenate. And I'm going to say goodnight from you, Demi's Nan, who I will send to the light after I've spoken with you, Demi. I'll, I'll pass her on after we've spoken so that you can say goodbye because that's really, really important. Also, uh, good night from Big Brother. Oh my gosh, what was that? OMG. What was that? What was that? Did anybody see that? What? Oh my God. What was it? it was probably a fly or something. No, it wasn't. My husband's going... Where's everything falling off? Oh, it's because it's just been up there. Yeah, but it wasn't that. It was something else. Hi, everybody. Did anybody see that? It went whoosh, like that. Honestly, I'm not joking you, D. That's fine. I'm not even worried. My, no. my husband's like nothing there. Did, did anybody see that? No. Anyway. <laughs> Good night for me. Good night from Big Brother. Good night from Mike. Good night from Lady Gypsy Rose. What was that though? Good night. Lots of love. Angel kisses. And don't forget, if you do want one to one, just simply book with me and see you tomorrow night at eight thirty. And why is my camera stalled? This is odd, 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 odd. Wait a minute. Someone saw it. Yes, they saw it. Saw it. Saw it, or something jumped, saw it, came from your left by the blue. Yes, you saw it as well. It did, it came from the blue box. Well, I'm looking at the video. Sorry. My husband said, skeptic, said that he's going to look at the video, but I saw it. It came from my left side by the blue bear. Yes, it did. It went like that, didn't it? There's nothing, oh, there's nothing here. Anyway, I'm going to put my bubble back up, I'm going to protect myself, get my shield around me and I'll see you sweeties tomorrow. Uh, lots of love, please do PM me, let me know what you thought on the page, anything, share, 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 get that free reading. Good night, lots of love.